Okay, here at my uh, storage shed, garage, and uh, I've got everything packed up in a oversized sleeping bag right here. Right, that's a good geometrical term, right here. Um, so yeah, everything's in a oversized sleeping bag to keep it waterproof because Essentially, I mean, you just look at the weather and the forecast never actually says it's going to rain on a day. It's just kind of like, you know, it happens. So, like, you look at the weather forecast for a week ahead of time and you'll think, oh, it only rains two days a week when in all reality it's raining like half the days of the week. So, like, you know, it, it rains quite a bit here. So, and uh, there's some ducks flying south up there. I got that right there, and then right here I have the uh, charger, just because this really isn't going to take any more weight. As you can see, it, it's wobbling back and forth and pulls the fork just a little bit left and right, which also pulls the cassette left and right just a little bit. So, I mean, it, it, it'll still go. This thing's a workhorse. Um, it's just... This is not built for this much weight. This thing is only built for 30 pounds. And it would be better for it to be welded onto the rack. Like actually part of the frame. Like have, you know, just a nice thick chunk of aluminum just like this. Or like a nice thick chunk of steel. That, you know, it might bend a little bit. But it'll snap right back into place like an Olympic bar with like 500 pounds on it. With a deadlift. It just snaps right back and it's strong. But cargo bikes, good bikes are just, um, unless you order it in bulk, like 10 at a time from China, from the Alibaba Express, they are, you know, $1,000, and for a reason, because, um, yeah, bikes are expensive, there's lots of stuff on them, so, yep, that's that, and uh, I've got to go back and get my backpack so I can get some stuff just on my back. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna carry stuff in my frame and use myself as the you know holder just so I don't have to like stack everything on the frame and then when I get off the bike it'll just fall over. It'll be on my back, so you know it'll keep the bike more stable and centered because you want all the weight centered. I've already got a 14 pound battery and um, 12 pounds uh, motor system with the motor and all the wiring display and everything it adds up to 12 pounds so that is 30 pounds right there so that already makes this this is a, an 80 pound uh, bike and it's not really um, uh, long enough to support 80 pounds even though you want a smaller frame if you want to go faster but cargo bikes are talking about a different thing and this is not a cargo bike this is a do-it-yourself kind of a ratcheting mechanic Actually, I did a very good job, but with, with the tools that I had, and this is actually a workhorse and a great bike, fantastic bike, like, you know, it's, it's not a cargo bike, though, and, you know, that takes the good old credit card that we all love to, our, our favorite thing, the credit card, so, yeah, there's that, so I'm going to get going, and we'll see what happens later today, I'll do another check-in video, so,